Every morning as he walks out into the alley, Christian Kudela finds himself faced with a pile of rubbish. We're almost two weeks in, and now the fire we've set here is giving off smells that are more than nauseating. It's painful and disturbing. Brazzaville, whose inhabitants used to call it the Green City for its cleanliness, is now nearly unrecognizable. Rubbish is heaped up on the pavements in mounds that can reach up to several meters high. The piles of waste are the result of a strike among rubbish collectors in the city. We are demanding our rights, our two salaries, the month of July and the month of August. That's why we are making these demands. We are fed up. We want the company to at least think about us. We do very hard work. We work every day until Sunday. We don't get a rest. And we are exposed to illness. A local association has decided to take the crisis into its own hands, trying to make the city air breathable and healthy again. Equipped with dustbins and shovels, dozens of its volunteers pick up the rubbish. It's because we're patriots that we thought it was unacceptable to live in such a polluted environment. And that's why we're doing this. We're doing it not because we expect anything. We're doing it because we're the children of this country and we love this country. No one can love this country better than we do. But despite the volunteers' best efforts, Brazzaville is still overflowing with rubbish. Residents are hoping and praying for a swift end to the crisis. Discussions between the sanitation company Averda and its employees are ongoing. The company's directors declined to answer our questions.